What's up, savvy expats? Do you prefer the cool weather over the hot heat of the Philippines? Well, today we're taking a look at both house and condo rentals in Tagaytay. And as always, if you want access to a community of expats, exclusive content, and personalized content just for you, that'll all be in the link in the description down below. All right, enough talk. Let's get into our list of 10 rentals in Tagaytay. So at rental number one on our list, we have a three bed, two bath house in a subdivision called High Grove Tagaytay. This house would run you 45,000 pesos or $900 per month. And for that, you're getting 300 square feet or 3,229 square feet of space. Obviously, as many of you may know, Tagaytay is considered to be one of the pricier places to live outside of Metro Manila, so don't let these prices shock you. But getting into the pictures, this home is inspired by an American country home design. And this design, as well as log cabins, are a common design in Tagaytay, so pairing that with the cool weather and pine trees, it feels like you'd be in Northern California or in the Midwest. As you'll notice, you have a porch on your house to enjoy the fresh pine tree air, and getting a closer look, it's pretty spacious and would make a great place to drink a nice hot cup of coffee. Switching angles, you can see the houses lined up next to each other as this is a subdivision, and walking inside the house, the first thing you'll be greeted with is the staircase heading up to your bedrooms. As you can see, here you have your living room. There's two couches there along with a coffee table. In addition to that, switching angles, you can get a better view of the layout with the entryway being there to the left near the staircase and the living room being on the right. From this view, you can better see the kitchen on the furthermost left with the countertop dividing it from the seven person dining table with the lazy Susan on top. Here's another view of the dining room and kitchen area. Unfortunately, they don't provide close up photos of the kitchen, but basically there you have some cabinet space, a fridge, sink, stovetop, and oven. All your basic necessities. Here's one last view of the dining room area from the perspective of the kitchen. And so walking up the staircase, here we have your first bedroom. You'll notice that the house has an old charm to it. Now if you like that, this would be a great place for you. Looking to the opposite angle, here you have the bed. And moving on to bedroom number two, it's more spacious than the last, and you'll notice the wood paneled flooring. From this view, you can see the closet space at the foot of the bed, and as for your last bedroom, this is the only picture they provided, but as you can see, you once again have your closet space there, and to the right of this picture, there you would have the bed. Now here is bathroom number one out of the two that you have in this house, has all your basic necessities, but is outdated. And then here's bathroom number three, which has your toilet and sink there, and the last thing I want to show you is the view of the street. So there you have it. Now for rental number two on our list, we have an unfurnished condo at Avita Seren East Residences. So as you can probably tell by this being unfurnished, this is a long-term rental with a minimum of one year rent. And this unit, which is much cheaper than the last, is going for 20,000 pesos or $400 per month. And for that, you're getting 54 square meters or 581 square feet of space. And as far as location, this condo is located in the Moharlika East neighborhood. Getting into the pictures, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. As you can see up ahead, there you have your kitchen area where at the moment you already have the cabinet, sink, and stove top. And walking forward, you take a left and from there you can see your living room. You'll notice that this unit not only is spacious and up to date, but also lets in an abundance of natural light. There's just windows running all throughout the condo. And now here you have your first bedroom, which is facing the same view from the living room. Once again, very bright and the flooring in this condo is up to date. Switching angles, here you can better see the window in your bedroom. And you'll also notice that you have a balcony. So walking out to the balcony, the view looks phenomenal considering that it's only on the 10th floor. Switching angles, this is a look at the opposite side of the balcony where you can see the rest of the Avita Tower condo complex. Now this is a great area we can add some seating, a table, or add some plants if you wish. Again, here's another look at your living room where you can walk out to your balcony straight ahead and then to the left, that is the bedroom. And lastly, here you have the bathroom which is also up to date and has all your basic necessities. Next, we have a two bed, two bath house in Silang Cavite, which is about a 15 minute drive outside of Tagaytay. So this two bedroom house is going for 55,000 pesos or $1,100 per month. And for a price like that, you're getting 115 square meters or 1,237 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, here's a look at the outside of the house. As you can see, nothing ridiculous or insane about it, just your regular house. Switching angles from the balcony view, you can get a better close-up view of the house. And then in this picture, you can see the entryway. Walking through the entryway, this is what you open up to. As you can see, off the bat, the house is up to date, everything looks new, and the overall space isn't cramped. To the left there, you have the living room with your couch and coffee table, and then next to that is the staircase leading up to your bedrooms. And to the right, switching angles, you can see the kitchen area just past the staircase. 
But before we get a closer look at the kitchen, from this view you can see the living room better tucked away in the back there. Moving closer, as you can see it's just simply furnished and nothing is overdone. And in addition to that, here you also have the 4 person dining table. Switching angles you'll also notice the fridge there and the kitchen area. Moving closer, in the kitchen you simply have the cabinet space, an oven and stove, and a sink. Now here's a look at the staircase with the dining table beside it. As you can see the back door lets in a lot of natural light into the whole first floor and walking upstairs here's your first bedroom which isn't a bad size. There's a bed and place them on your TV but unfortunately guys they only provided one bedroom photo out of the two bedrooms in this house. On the bright side we have pictures of both bathrooms so here's the first bathroom. As you can see all of the appliances are up to date and from the looks of it the wall seems to be a red quartz or marble. And then here you have the second bathroom which is once again up to date and has everything you can need in a bathroom. Now at rental number 4 we have a 2 bedroom house in Amadeo Cavite which is only about a 50 minutes drive from Tagaytay. As for the lease agreements, for 12 months rent that would cost 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. 6 months rent would cost 28,000 pesos or $560 per month. 1 month rent would cost 40,000 pesos or $800 for that month. And if you were to only stay there for a week that would cost 15,000 pesos or $300 for only that week. Now getting into the pictures, the house has a unique color design with it being blue. Walking inside here we have the living room and dining room area which as you can see is simply furnished. You have your couches, TV, coffee table and beside that a 6 person dining table. And then here you have your kitchen with a 4 burner stove top, sink, cabinet space and a green tiled backsplash. Overall the kitchen is a decent size and outside the kitchen you have an outdoor patio area to hang out and relax. Here is a bathroom which has this sink and switching angles you can see it's a wet style bathroom connecting the toilet and shower area. This house is definitely more outdated than the last but then again it's quite a bit cheaper. Here you have your bedroom, there you have your reasonable sized bed and beside that is some closet space. And switching angles on the other side of the bed there you have more closet space. And lastly this is your second bedroom, not bad. Now moving on to rental number 5 we have a studio unit at Seren West Tagaytay Residences. This condo unit is priced at 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And for that you're getting 30 square meters or 322 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, immediately here we have the bed area which the bed is a small size and right next to the bed that leads out to the balcony. But before we get into that, switching to an opposite angle as you can see to the left of the bed you have the kitchen area. There you have a sink, stove top, microwave, cabinet space, fridge and backsplash and from this view you can see the rest of the unit where you have a two person table to eat as well as a dresser for your clothes. And to the right past the fridge and dining space is the entryway to the unit. So you can tell that this is a small unit therefore you'd likely be accommodating two people in here tops but nevertheless as you can see from this picture if you want to host another person or just need more space there is more room to lay out another mattress. Now walking through the balcony door here we have the balcony with not a bad view at 5 floors up. You'll also take note that you have more space to dine and chillax. Lastly here we have the bathroom which is fairly up to date with the shower sink and as you can see here is the toilet with a bidet. Obviously that is a must here in the Philippines. Now at rental number 6 we have a fully furnished studio unit at Pine Suites to Gaitai going for 20,000 pesos or $400 per month. And for that you're getting 20 square meters or 215 square feet of space. So yes this condo is very small but if you're looking for an affordable place to live then this is a considerable option. Now getting into the pictures this is what the unit looks like facing the entryway. As you can see it's a very tight space so this would be ideal if you're traveling and living alone. Nevertheless the unit was furnished well. There you can see the 4 person dining table to the right and the kitchen to the left which switching angles you can get a better view of the whole kitchen area. Moving closer to the kitchen as you can see you have a mini fridge, stove top, microwave, cabinet space, sink and in this picture this is everything that the condo comes with. From this perspective here we have the view of the unit upon entry. Again the 4 person dining table, kitchen to the right and a bed straight ahead. Moving closer to the bed you can see the window lets in a lot of natural light and across on the bed you have the TV. Switching angles here you can see there's a couch right beside the bed and then there's another look at the TV and kitchen area. By the way this condo unit does have a balcony but they didn't provide any photos of it. Lastly this is the bathroom and that is the sink and moving in more. 
there is a toilet and shower. Now let's move on to the next studio unit on our list. And I decided to add some studio units into this list just in case some of you guys are looking for more affordable places to live. Anyways, this fully furnished studio unit is located at Seren West Tagaytay. Its price tag is 18,000 pesos or $360 per month, making it the cheapest unit on our list. And for that, you're getting a whopping 25 square meters or 269 square feet of space. Getting into the pictures, this is what the unit looks like upon entry. As you can see straight ahead, there you have the bed and walking further down the unit, you can get a better view of the whole space. This studio kind of reminds me of a college dorm, but anyways, as you can see, there's the bed to the left, TV and couch to the right, there's also a mirror there, and looking from this perspective, there you have the two-person dining table slash desk space right next to the bed. From this view, you can see the TV better, and switching angles, here we have the kitchen area equipped with a microwave, fridge, cabinet space, and sink. What's nice about this unit is that for its size, it's well furnished and is well lit. Now here's the bathroom sink, and next to that is the shower and toilet. As for the amenities, you have a playground area, here's a look at the whole condo, and there's also a pool. Now moving back to houses, at rental number 8, we have a 5 bedroom house in Silan Cavite, which is again a couple minutes drive from Tagaytay. Now this house is going for 30,000 pesos or $600 per month for a minimum of a 1 year rent. And as for space, you're getting 97 square meters or 1,044 square feet of space. So getting into the pictures, this is the outside of the house which doesn't look too shabby. You'll notice that there's a parking space there as well. And walking into the house, this is what the entryway to the home looks like. I'd say the blue looks odd on this house, but whatever floats your boat goes for your preference. On the left, you have a six-person dining table, and switching angles to the right, there's some seating space. You can also see the staircase there. And switching angles again, beside the dining table, you have the kitchen. As you can see, there's cabinet space, a fridge, sink, and a stovetop and oven. Here's another look at the staircase, and walking upstairs, here's the first bedroom. You simply have the bed there, and here's another angle of the room. From this view, you can see there's more space as well as some closet space to the left. And lastly, here's a look at the balcony where you have some shade and a four-person table. So this house didn't give all of the pictures. They only showed one bedroom out of the supposed five that there is. But I decided to add it to the list anyways because the majority of the houses that I looked at in Tagaytay were severely overpriced. And there were some houses that were fairly up to date, but they were going for like $1,500 per month or even up to $2,000 per month. And the way I see it, it wasn't worth the value that you are getting and most people would not be able to pay for that kind of house without getting ripped off. But anyways, at rental number 9, we have another condo unit, but this one is able to accommodate more people than the previous studio units that we looked at. So this furnished studio located at Amaya Steps New Valley is going for 35,000 pesos per month or $700 per month. And this unit is quite a bit bigger than the others because you're getting 42 square meters of space or 452 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. As you can see straight ahead, you have the living room area, and to give you a better view of the entire unit from this angle, you can see the kitchen which is to the left upon entry. And then to the left of this photo from our perspective, we switch angles and you can see that there's two bedroom areas. So this unit in reality is a studio but was converted to a two bedroom because of the extra space. And actually they did a great job of transforming the place into a two bedroom. Now here's a look at the kitchen. As you can see, it's a lot more modern than the previous units that we looked at. There you have a backsplash, nice cabinets, a sink, and a built-in two burner stovetop. From this picture, you can see the fridge and more counter space and space to put extra kitchen materials. Overall, some nice kitchen appliances in this one. Upon entry to the right, there's the bathroom door, and then here's a view of the living room area. Lastly, here's the bathroom with the sink and shower and toilet. Now, for the last and final rental on our list, we have a three-bath house in Silan Cavite. Because I wanted to show you guys what a price your house in Tagaytay looks like, I chose this option. So as for price, you're paying 65,000 pesos or $1,300 per month. And as for space, you're getting 139 square meters or 1,500 square feet of space. So I'll leave it up to you guys to judge whether or not this house is worth the price, but to put it into perspective, some expats come here with that budget of $1,500 per month, and this is only the rent alone for this house but anyways this house is actually nicer than the other units that we looked at so i'll leave it up to you guys so getting into the pictures you guys be the judge this is what the house looks like on the outside you can see that it's two floors and this is what the rental looks like upon entry straight away you can see you have the living room with a couch and coffee table giving you guys a better view here you can see more of the living room and off the bat you'll notice that the inside is up to date modern and the furniture is of good quality across from the couches here you have the tv now here's a picture of the kitchen, 
and from this view you can see you have a four burner stove top microwave sink and cabinet space next to that there you have the six person dining table and beside the dining table there is one of the three bathrooms as you can see the bathroom is up to date there's a shower toilet and sink and then here's a look at the staircase leading up to your three bedrooms here's the first bedroom where as you can see has a king size bed and across from that there's some closet space now here is the second bedroom with a smaller bed and natural light coming in and here is the third and last bedroom which is similar to the last and second bedroom that we looked at again there's more closet space and switching angles here is a better view of the bed then here you have the second bathroom which is just like the last one it's also up to date now although this house is on the pricey end you again can noticeably see that this house is much bigger than the other accommodations that we looked at not only that but everything else is up to date and there is one more thing I want to show you guys about this house. As you can see, this house is also on the golf course. So if you're one who enjoys playing golf, you have easy access to a golf course just outside your back door. So there you have it, Sevy Expats 10 Rentals in Tagaytay. I'll leave all the info on these rentals in the link in the description for you guys to check out. And I'll also leave my email down there because I noticed that some of you guys are having trouble looking for affordable accommodations here in the Philippines. So if you need help with that, I'll always be there and you guys can contact me. And let me know your thoughts on these accommodations. Honestly, many of the rentals that I looked at online were overpriced, but these were some of the better deals that I could find. Anyways, thank you Savvy Expats for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. <music>